Cheyenne, the 1955 television series, marked a significant chapter in the history of TV westerns, setting a standard for the genre's rugged, solitary hero. This iconic show revolved around the character of Cheyenne Bodie, portrayed by Clint Walker, navigating the American West. It was a pioneering series, not just for its narrative, but for being one of the first hour-long dramas on television. Do you recall the first time you encountered this timeless show? Or is there a particular scene or moment that left an indelible mark on you? We'd love to hear about your most cherished memories or personal experiences with Cheyenne in the comments below. The show's legacy extended beyond its gripping storytelling. Cheyenne holds the record for the longest running hour-long television western of its time, and introduced a format that inspired numerous series that followed. Its impact on the genre and its role in shaping the television landscape is undeniable. Please share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're eager to hear from you. Clint Walker, renowned for his role in the 1955 TV series Cheyenne, encountered a contractual dispute with Warner Brothers. Under the terms, Walker had to relinquish 50% of his appearance fees and could only record music with Warner Brothers. Seeking changes, he aimed for a reduced appearance fee cut and the freedom to sign with any record label. The conflict led to a brief departure from the show. However, an agreement was eventually reached, allowing Walker to return to the series. In 1959, Clint Walker showcased his baritone voice in the episode The Durango Brothers, treating fans to a display of his singing talent, capturing attention beyond his acting prowess. Cheyenne marked a significant milestone in television history as the inaugural original series produced by a major Hollywood film studio, Warner Brothers. While not exclusively tailored for television, it pioneered the shift towards TV production by renowned studios. The show's legacy extends beyond its on-screen narratives, encompassing the behind-the-scenes negotiations that impacted its lead actor and the industry's television landscape. Cheyenne, the 1955 TV series, featured some notable crossovers with the cast of Bonanza. Three of the four principal actors from Bonanza appeared in multiple episodes of Cheyenne. Michael Landon took on one of his early roles in Decision and White Warrior. Dan Blocker appeared in Land Beyond the Law and Noose at Noon, while Lorne Green featured in Gold, Glory, and Custer Prelude, and Gold, Glory, and Custer Requiem. Interestingly, Pernell Roberts from Bonanza did not make an appearance on Cheyenne. Not just limited to Bonanza crossovers, the show initially started with a sidekick named Smitty, portrayed by L.Q. Jones, but the character was dropped after just three episodes, leaving Cheyenne to venture alone for the rest of the series. This dynamic crossover with Bonanza and the transition of Cheyenne from having a sidekick to going solo marked significant shifts in the show's character dynamics, offering insights into the era's collaborative nature between TV series and the evolving character development in Cheyenne. It was the longest running of the Warner Brothers family of westerns, lasting seven seasons. The 1955 TV series, Cheyenne stands out as the longest-running show among the Warner Brothers westerns, spanning an impressive seven seasons. Set in an era when hour-long westerns were a novelty on U.S. television, Cheyenne broke new ground, becoming a pioneer in its genre. Led by Clint Walker, the series made a mark not just for its longevity, but also for its depiction of the Wild West and the adventures of the protagonist, Cheyenne Bowie. Throughout its extensive run, the show captivated audiences with its tales of the Old West, establishing a lasting legacy within the realm of television. In this notable series, Walker's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie, a rugged cowboy with a strong moral compass, became iconic. The character's adventures, set against the backdrop of the untamed frontier, resonated with viewers, making Cheyenne a beloved part of television history. Across its seven seasons, the show not only entertained but also showcased the evolving landscape of TV storytelling, firmly cementing its place as a classic among the Warner Brothers Western productions. An interesting facet of the series lies in its evolution, notably in its final season. While the show consistently portrayed Walker's character in various rugged scenarios, it's intriguing to note the departure from a trademark aspect in the final season. Unlike previous episodes where Walker's character often showcased his physique, the last season intriguingly saw a shift. 
In all 13 episodes of the final season, Cheyenne Bodie notably kept his shirt on, diverging from the previous trend of bearing his hairy, muscular chest. This departure from the established norm in the show's conclusion remains a distinct aspect of the series' evolution. Cheyenne remains a significant part of television history, not just for its portrayal of the Old West and the adventures of its iconic protagonist, but also for its unique evolution over its seven-season run, ending on a surprising note in its final episodes. Though set to appear in every first season episode, the character Smitty in Cheyenne was swiftly dropped due to concerns that the show leaned too heavily towards children's entertainment. The removal of Smitty marked a significant shift in the series, transforming Cheyenne into a more solitary, enigmatic figure. This change was prompted by criticisms from influential entities like chemical giant Monsanto, altering the show's trajectory to appeal to a broader audience. The alteration, steered by producer Roy Huggins, shifted Cheyenne from a kid-oriented show to one featuring a more reticent and independent protagonist. This move laid the groundwork for the evolution of the character and the series' overall tone across its subsequent seasons. Cheyenne, the iconic 1955 TV series, boasts a background marked by interesting facets. One notable aspect revolves around the portrayal of Indian characters, predominantly played by white actors and established norm in Western shows of that time. The series' early episodes took a cost-saving route, with several being remakes of Warner Brothers' Western films, leveraging existing footage. However, the core of the show lies in its titular character, Cheyenne whose name reflects a poignant origin story. Cheyenne's character is shaped by the Cheyenne Indians, who tragically killed his parents but then raised and molded him, becoming an integral part of his identity and the narrative. This rich background lays the foundation for the complexities and depth of the protagonist in this enduring TV series, adding layers of cultural and personal significance to Cheyenne's journey. For a few seasons, the series became The Cheyenne Show, which had Cheyenne rotating weekly with Sugarfoot and Bronco. In an attempt to expand their Western-themed lineup, the show's format shifted, featuring Cheyenne alongside these other series in a rotation. This change allowed for a shared spotlight among these shows, where audiences could anticipate different Western adventures weekly. This format adjustment signaled a strategic move by the network to capitalize on the popularity of these series and to offer viewers a variety of Western storylines. The rotational concept not only broadened the scope of the Western genre on television, but also kept the audience engaged by alternating the focus among different iconic characters, maintaining the spirit of the Old West alive on the small screen. This rotation marked an innovative approach to programming shaping the landscape of Western-themed TV shows during that era. As the timeless reel of memories from the 1955 series Cheyenne draws to a close, I invite you to embark on a journey through the trails of nostalgia. Recall the echoing cadence of cowboy boots on the dusty plains, the heartfelt ballads of courage, and the silhouette of Cheyenne's unwavering determination. In the quiet expanse of your reflections, let the spirit of the series envelop you. Perhaps it's the character depth, the rugged landscapes, or the era's ethos that lingers in your mind. What resonates within you when the tales of Cheyenne cross your thoughts? Is it the unyielding sense of justice, the pulse of adventure, or the triumph of the human spirit against adversity? Your memories and sentiments form an intricate tapestry woven with the threads of personal connections to this iconic series. Share your thoughts, your cherished moments, the scenes that etched themselves into the fabric of your recollections. Whether it's a solitary nod of appreciation or a detailed ode to the show's impact, your insights add depth to the shared legacy of Cheyenne. Thank you for sharing in this reflection and for gracing the narrative of Cheyenne with your own vibrant hues of interpretation. Your engagement perpetuates the vitality of this classic. So, as we bid adieu, let the echoes of Cheyenne's adventures continue to resonate within your heart. With gratitude for your time and fondness for the series, thank you, and until we meet again, keep the spirit of Cheyenne alive in your thoughts and tales.